I have waited a very long time for this. This is a 24 volt inverter by Jung Pao. Sorry if I'm saying their name wrong. It is an LGE 2080 Ti 24 volt 2000 watt inverter. I have been waiting forever for this. I've been talking to this company, it seems like most of the year. They finally sent it to me. So I'm gonna tell you what I told them. I'm gonna be fair and impartial and frankly excited to get this, but um, no positive outcome is guaranteed. And I'm gonna tell you what my actual experience with this inverter is, but I am very excited and very optimistic. So we're gonna open it up and see what it comes with. Two very, very heavy <laughs> cables. Got an instruction manual. A uh, remote. Then here is the actual inverter. And it came double boxed. I mean, really well packaged. So here it is. This is the inverter. And my first impression is I am impressed. There are some things just off the top that I really like. Let's start at the back here. You can see the DC connections are way, way apart and they're covered. So they're very, very protected. You're never gonna short those out. I really, really like that. Let's go to the front here. Now I'm just opening this. I've never used this thing before. So I'm, we're experimenting this. We're, you're seeing this thing as I see it. The front is impressive. It's got a 20 amp GFCI receptacle outlet. It's got a terminal block where you can do 120 out directly on and off, remote, USB, and looks like some dip switches so you can adjust things again it's very very heavy good looking unit so today i'm going to hook this up i'm going to walk it through some tests i'm going to see how well it does see how well it performs stay tuned let's get into this so first thing i'm going to do is jump into a little bit more detail about what it came with it did come with this user manual it's got all sorts of information in here Everything you could possibly want to know. Um, this is a pure sine wave inverter. Uh, we got to stop for a second and talk about this. I have never seen this before with a, an inverter. These are two gauge cables. Two gauge. This is a 24 volt inverter that can do 2000 watt and it comes with huge cables. I always have to use my own cables. These are incredibly nice cables. This inverter is impressing me right off the top. I got to tell you. It does come with this remote. So you could mount this inverter somewhere as long as you know you had proper airflow you could mount it somewhere then you can use this and it comes with a little cat 5 to hook it up uh, we'll be testing all that uh, i'm going to go over the product overview real quick and then we're going to get into the testing so just hang out with me uh, again this is the lge 2080 ti rated power is 2080 watts we're going to be testing that extensively you can do a max output power of 2392 i've never heard of that a uh, surge up to 6,000 watts for 0.3 milliseconds, so not very much, but it does do a teeny bit of a surge. It's got all the protection you'd expect, um, internal fuse. Uh, I'm going to hook this bad boy up because I can't even tell you how excited I am to test this unit. My friends, I tested the crap out of this inverter, and it was flawless. This is by far the best inverter I have ever tested. Uh, I'm almost speechless. Um, usually when I test an inverter, and I've tested a lot of inverters, usually they, they do okay, some suck, but usually they do okay, and then, you know, there's a few things that they don't do well on. Um, I, I just don't know what to say. It, it's it's just flawless. Um, and I'm telling you, I, I told the company, like I told you guys at the beginning, you know, I'm going to do a fair, impartial test. I'm going to test everything. Whatever happens is what happens, and <laughs> it's just... Uh, let's go over it. Uh, first of all, earlier in the video, you might have noticed these feet were off. Uh, that's just because it fell off uh, when I <laughs> backed it. Um, all four of them have this rubber thing, so you can mount them, and it has this really cool uh, foam rubber stuff around it. On this side, you can adjust it. The frequency, 50, 60 hertz. You can also set it to either 110 or 120 volts on the output. I set it to 120 volts. Uh, this monitor... Uh, is really nice. I mean, it's got a really long a Cat 5 cable on it. So, I mean, again, you could put this thing anywhere, mount it. You can see it has four um, screw holes, so you can mount it anywhere. Um, it Even under load, the fans were relatively quiet. I don't have a decibel meter, so I don't know exactly. But, I've, again, I've tested a lot of inverters, and sometimes the fans scream. This was perfectly fine. 
I tested the temperature of the unit under heavy load. Uh, it was in the 80s, so it never got hot. So I'm gonna break down the test results. Voltage, stayed at 120, no voltage loss, either at idle or under heavy load. Absolutely no voltage loss. Sine wave was beautiful. Great sine wave on idle and under heavy load. Sine wave had no distortion, no noise, nothing. It didn't even look like it was on. I had to check, check it a few times to make sure I was filming it while it was under load because it sine wave was just impeccable. So I did my five minute test where I put a heavy load, about 14, 1500 watts. I run it for five minutes, it ran that perfectly fine. It's a space heater. So it ran the space heater fine. It ran a chop saw fine. It ran a small compressor fine. Uh, it ran a heavy duty shop back fine. I mean, it ran everything fine. Any tool you want to run on this, it runs fine. So it runs to 2000, ran over 2000. No problem at all. Um, there was one time when I did a really serious heavy test where I knew it wasn't going to make it. And instantly, you know, it aired out. Uh, the alarm went off and I just turned it off and turned it back on. So it airs out perfectly fine, comes back no problem. Um, I did not test the um, terminal block and I didn't test the USB. I mean, you're not buying this for USB. If you really want to know, let me know and I can test that and you know give you a follow-up. But um, this is not a, a unit that's purpose is USB. Um, and I don't really have a way of testing the load block without tearing my entire system apart, but just know it does have that load terminal block, so you can hook it up, bypass the um, receptacle outlet, and run the full output in. But um, I was able to get full output out of the receptacle outlet, so I don't know why you'd even need to, need to do that. It's GFCI. I did test that, clicked it. It did pull a fault. I put it in my outlet tester. That is perfectly fine. So the unit is... Amazing. Um, I just, I don't even know what else to say. Uh, it just, it passed everything. Every test. I can't find fault in it at all. There's nothing about it that I don't like. So it's an excellent premium 24 volt, 2000 watt inverter for the price of an average generic inverter. If you are interested in buying it, I do have a link below. Uh, feel free to click on that. I did try my heavy duty Harbor Freight compressor that nothing ever starts. And it didn't start that, and that's what gave me the air message. I knew it wouldn't start that. That's way too big. So I know everybody's going to want to see the inside of the inverter, especially given my review and how I'm praising it. Um, also, I know there's a guy out there that's going to give me the, it's a high-frequency inverter, not a low-frequency inverter speech, which is just nonsense. You can see this is a high-frequency inverter, but it's a quality build. And I'm not an electrical engineer. I'm not going to break down and talk about all the different components. But just as an average novice, I can glance at it and tell you that it is built solidly. I like the bus bars. I like the layout. There's nothing about this that screams out at me as a problem. It is a quality build. High frequency inverters are perfectly fine if they're like this and they're designed well and they're built well and they have good quality components. So this is a solid inverter. I've run everything on it like I've shown you. I've even ran my 8000 BTU air conditioner so it runs everything it performed excellent it is a solid solid inverter from every aspect so if you're interested in getting this inverter again click the link below if anybody has any questions about it something i missed please leave a comment below if uh, you know you've used a different inverter and you got a different story to tell again leave a comment below i'd love to hear your input but as you can see it is solidly built nice and heavy performed outstanding it was a flawless inverter that's all i got for today thanks for watching as always like comment share subscribe it really helps out the channel and i'll talk to everyone later